There is a big gender gap when it comes to computer science education. We have some numbers to show you. Take a look at this. The number of high school girls who took advanced placement tests last year in three states, Mississippi, Montana, and Wyoming, not a single high school girl took the advanced placement test for computer science. Overall, boys outnumber girls four to one among computer science test takers. The state with the highest percentage of girls taking the test is Tennessee, but that number was just 29%. That's less than a third. So to break down these numbers, let's talk to Barbara Erickson from Georgia Tech. You compiled those numbers. Good to see you, Barbara. Good Disappointing, not hugely surprising. We've seen this before, but I think the, the, the breadth of the gap is what surprises so many people. First off, why is this happening? Well, they're not enough. Computer science is an elective often. People don't think of it as something required to take for mm -hmm. college. So people take it, they're interested. And boys tend to get interested in computer science much earlier, and they tend to have more experience with it, more opportunities. It's not taught in a lot of high schools, so access is one issue. But mm -hmm. even the schools where it's in, a lot of the stereotypes about computer science tend to discourage girls, that it's boring, geeky, antisocial, not creative. What's the problem here? Is it the teachers that need to encourage more women to, or is it a parenting thing? Say, so you can do this. You're, you're just as, you know, you can be just as interested in this as a boy would. Well, there are some teachers who believe the stereotypes, and they'll mm -hmm. encourage the geeky boys or the white and Asian males and, and discourage the females, uh, often not even by... Consciously. Yes, consciously. Yeah. They'll, they'll do it yeah. implicitly. Mm -hmm. So that is one problem. Another is that they don't think they're interested, so they don't sign up for the courses. When they sign up for the courses... The boys often have had more experience, so they feel behind already. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes the atmosphere in classes can be sort of hostile to girls. A lot of times the classes will require individual work where girls like to be social and work together. Right. They'll do work that's sort of abstract, and girls like work that has meaning to them, either personally meaningful or societally, that I can help society and make changes. That makes a lot of sense, but what you may not think about is that the career, the opportunity out there is so lucrative because there are so few women. So if you go down that path, you may have a better chance of getting a job because there is not as much competition, right? That's right. Computing jobs are some of the fastest growing. They're expected to grow twice the average of all occupations up through 2020. We expect to have a million more jobs and we have people to fill them. Mm. These are high paying, exciting, mm -hmm. creative jobs. So women should be going for these jobs. So what can we do? Is it an educational issue? What can be done to try and get more women into this field? Well, one thing is to make computer science more available. So get more teachers teaching computer science, get it to count as a core subject. So like science or math, pretty much any STEM field these days requires some knowledge of computer science. Mm -hmm. At Georgia Tech, you can't get out of Georgia Tech without taking computer science because we believe it's a foundational skill mm -hmm. for the 21st century. So getting more places to feel that way, that it's required, would really help. Training teachers, a lot of teachers don't know computer science. It's not the same as math. It's not the same as mm -hmm. business. It's not the same as creating computer apps. So girls get out there, pursue the, uh, sort of a different path. All right, Barbara Erickson, thanks so much for being with us. Take care. You're welcome. Thank you.